I mean, I guess we might as well just dive right in. Uh, Rafa and Renee both kind of watched. Not kind of. They fully watched. Did you fully, Did watch? fully watch? No, I didn't. Um, I fell asleep on episode three. Nice. So, Love that. Okay, so Renee well, fully watched. episodes are long as fuck. Well, they're like an hour. I are think. they? The first oh, episode actually, was yeah. an hour. Like, Second episode was like 40 minutes. Yeah, they're pretty lengthy. Yeah. Oh, they only did you fall asleep because you watched these at like three a.m. or yes. did you? Okay, mm-hmm. so it's not because they were boring. No. Oh, okay. No. no. <laughs> Why do right. you watch anime so late? That is something I want to ask you. Well, see, I do this thing where I leave everything to the last minute, uh, and I spend all Saturday catching up on everything. Like that's literally how yesterday. I spent yesterday. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> how I spent yesterday. I watched, uh, not for this podcast, but for the panel pals, I watched Hawkeye all three episodes. Jesus. I watch all the anime, like the stuff that I watch and stuff that we're going to talk about today. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'm done. I'm like, ah, shit. Cowboy Bebop, the live action. I also have to watch that. <laughs> and so I was like, fuck that. I'm watching that in bed. And then I put on the first episode. I'm like, 60 minutes. Oh, Jesus Christ. But it flew by, which is great. Nice. Like, I, I, like I, I was looking at it and I paused it to use the bathroom. And it was already like. 40 minutes in and it doesn't feel like mm-hmm. didn't like 40 drag. minutes pass by right so um, it was pretty good and then the episode 2 was like 40 minutes I, that was also another good episode and then I started episode 3 but at that point I was just too tired I ended up falling asleep what do right? you think about it uh, I'm li- I like it I don't understand why people are so Man against it. it right like yeah they're, they're so like oh it's not that great or it's you know it doesn't live up to the anime like Watching it, like, I haven't seen the anime in, in years, though. That's the thing. Um, I know you guys have seen it more recently than I have, for sure. Like, for sure, because I've seen it yeah. years ago. You saw it when it was originally airing, or no? No, no. I caught it when it was, like, on Adult Swim. Oh. And then they put the the episodes on Netflix, and I think, maybe, what, a couple years ago that I think I rewatched them all, so. Yeah, it's been, really? a, it's been a long time. Like, Very I know recent. for sure I saw it way before you guys. Um. Well, I still have the memories. I still, I still enjoy the show. I still think that's the best opening anime ever. Like that opening is like just legendary. I mean, there's a reason why this show from back in the day is still talked about. It's considered one of the best animes around. Um, so, but like, I didn't go in comparing it to the anime. You know, I didn't go in saying like, "Well, let's see how close you get to the anime." Like, I just, it, for me, it just felt more like it was, like the lost episodes or like it just a different like a different telling of the story itself like i wasn't wanting i didn't want more of the anime i just want to see what they were it's like someone else's rendition of how would bebop that's what it felt to me and i liked it i like uh john cho was amazing as spike um i forgot the name of everybody else but like they all like it 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 feels like the it feels like the anime came to life which is you know because it's live action but like it felt like they really paid attention to the to the source, which is the anime itself, and like they were just playing, they're they're paying respect and like they're really showing the love of the anime. Like it felt goofy, it felt silly, but it didn't feel cheesy or like lame, you know. Like it, it was, it felt like an anime, but it was just in live action, mm-hmm. you know. And it, it it worked out really well. Like I was really into it the first episode. Um, I love the humor. I just I love how the the banter they have with each other. Um, you know, just it 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 doesn't like it doesn't shy away from its origins, which is the anime. You know, and instead of something like, for example, Death Note, uh, Death Note, the Netflix original, they were trying to do like its own thing, and it just it was a fucking was garbage. garbage. It was a garbage fire. Yes. And I I felt like they were trying too hard to make it like, hey. It's it's in the real world type shit, and it's really hard to do that with Cowboy Bebop because it's in space, and you know they're doing you know space cowboy shit and whatever. But like, again, it didn't feel it, it it didn't feel like hey, we're trying to make this serious. It's like hey, we know where it's from, we're gonna keep it fun, we're gonna keep it lighthearted, but still, you know, enough where it could, it's. I feel like it stands on its own, you know, like it just feels like a, an extension of the Cowboy Bebop universe. It's good. I liked it a lot, and. I'm not, uh, I still, I'm still working my way through it. I'm on, you know, like I said, I, I fell asleep on episode three, but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's great. I can't wait to see what they got the rest of it. And I hope there is going to be this season two is planned, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's planned. I think they've already confirmed it. I want to say, but, um, I mean, for me, I got to like episode two. Mm-hmm. How'd you feel about it? I know you didn't really watch cowboy. Like yeah. I mean, I, I watched like the, 
the actual think. you know season mm-hmm. um but that was like a long time ago and um i definitely wasn't as big a fan as like both of you mm-hmm. uh but i mean while watching it it was it was cool episode one i was kind of like mad about it i wasn't exactly like i wasn't those who were like i want the anime just humans you know or like real life um i was like okay cool like give me enough of the anime but also give me new stuff so i went in i watched episode one i was like oh this is about what i expected but i wasn't like immediately blown away um and i felt like well i kind of like watched episode one like when it was first released and i'm like all right cool and i just never came back to it so it didn't really like impact me like probably as much as you and it doesn't really seem like it really impacted rafa right away like off rip episode one like episode one didn't like hit you right out like like like, wow this is amazing yeah that was good i liked it yeah but i'm saying like not enough to like binge or continue watching regularly I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have, I would have gotten farther if I didn't fall asleep. No, like, it's just, it's, it's just a good show. Like it didn't like blow me away, but like, but I, mean, like, I think I, still, I, like, I had too I high expectations. It's, like it's a good show. Like I don't, I don't understand why it gets so many bad ratings. Yeah, I, I think it's ratings. honestly just because people are comparing it to to the to anime, anime which and is it's unfair. Completely. And I feel like the live action does a pretty good balance of. Um, you know, they reference the anime, certain yeah. episodes, certain people that, I mean, I think the first episode was the, was it the couple? The yeah, wife the and the, with the with husband the eye, uh, who we thought was pregnant, drugs. but she had all the red eye, yeah. like, capsules. Mm-hmm. That, I thought they looked amazing. I think this show did a good job of referencing the anime and, like, it did its own thing, like we said. Like, right. I like that it was a little bit of both. Yeah. So. Like, it's, it's, it's paid homage to the anime without, like, ruining and but, it wasn't like a full retelling of the whole yeah, anime. It, it that I like. did its own thing. Yeah. So, like, I think like my favorite scene of the of the episodes that I've seen was when they're watching the, I guess the TV or whatever, and they're doing the whole cowboy TV show. The West. They look great. That was that was so funny. Like, I I remember that so visually and in my mind in the anime itself when they do that, they watch that and they're like, oh hey guys, you know, there's the bounty of the day or whatever, and they did that in the show and in the live action show, and I was like, oh that's so fucking cool. Like, you know, it's it's great. It's great. I I I enjoy it. I'm I'm enjoying it so far. So I I just feel like uh I don't know. It's like it's like comparing. You know you know how they say like there's like the book and then there's like the movie. You know and they're like oh the book's always better. I mean that's I feel like that's fact. I feel though. I feel like that's kind of how it is. You know mm-hmm. the anime's like always better. The, but... the the original version is always the better one for the most part. And I just feel like people need to stop holding it holding them next to each other because it's it's not it's not a retelling or like it's, it's not, not a one on one yeah it's not it's not like you know per every single beat of the of the anime just in live action it's it's a uh, it's just it's like a new twist to the to what we know and it's a it's a good twist i like it yeah and i feel like the cast was pretty amazing John for the live action sick. John was and great at first um i guess i was a little hesitant about him because i haven't I haven't seen him in a lot of movies. I've only seen him in like Harold and Kumar. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Same. you know, like I loved Spike's character in the anime, but then I was like, ooh, J-, you know, when the casting came out and it was him, like, oh, like I don't, I didn't hate him. I mm-hmm. just didn't know how he was gonna if he was gonna be a good Spike. Um, and I know a lot of people were like, oh, he's not the original voice of Spike. Like he's not gonna be a good fit. It didn't bother me that he didn't sound like the original Spike. Like yeah. I thought. John Cho did a really good job of Spike. He looked the part like he I didn't think he looked that old either. There was a lot of controversy that he was like too old looking to play him. I thought he did. I thought he looked great. He sounded great. He looked great. He 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 captured the persona of Spike. And that was my main thing. Um, But yeah, I mean, the I don't know their names. The actress who played Faye, the actor who played Jet. I think they did a phenomenal job. Like they really, really captured the personalities of these characters mm-hmm. even ein i love ein <laughs> you can't skip him um i'm not there yet so i don't know oh well i mean you know ein's in the yeah he's anime. In there regardless, like yeah. i know but like i know like you action, when I'm yeah when you get there you'll be like oh it's okay but no, i mean really <laughs> i i really enjoyed the live action mm-hmm. show i was a little nervous just because i know people were so against it so mm-hmm. i was like oh people are like have if people are giving this a bad rating like i'm like man am i gonna like give it a bad rating too but like you said you can't it's its own thing it right. does its own thing but yeah it re- it resembles certain moments in the anime but you 
I'm telling you, I feel like if it wasn't for the cast and what they did, I don't think you would have gotten into it as much as you did. Like, I thought they did a good job. I also feel like it's because of people hold the anime in such high regard. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, 100%. And that's They're why, just mega fans of it. Yeah, and that's why, that's why it's being so... That's why the live action got so attacked, mm-hmm. you know? Because these people love the anime, you know? There's diehards for it. Thank you.